What is going on ladies and gents, it's your boy Lampsy back again with another Lampsy Legends and today we're going to go over the centre forward cam, James Troisi, man of the match card. Now as you can see up on the screen right now, he doesn't go for jack shit price and obviously the only reason being is because he's Australian and he plays in the A-League as well so obviously you can't really hybrid him out very well but obviously we just want to have a look at him today so he scored me 14 goals in 9 games uh, hence why he hasn't actually we haven't lagged out yet so which is pretty good so the ratio is pretty damn decent he's got zero assists which does suck but his passing actually does feel really really good it's just because I feel like when I have Troisi I just want to bang it in with that left foot but his main stats up on the screen as you can see 76 pace 83 shot 82 pass 85 dribbling and 74 physical as well. Now I do play him on the basic card. I feel like that is his best, um, you know, card to play it on. So it got everything goes up. Obviously his pace is a little bit of a letdown, but you know if you're playing him in a camp spot, you can't really go wrong at all. But obviously I'm playing him as a super sub. I've been doing quite a few of these uh, recently, so I do apologise if you wanted a, you know, a hybrid um, or you know just like an A League team. But I don't think very many people use A League teams. Uh, the only people that probably would be uh, would be the us Aussies, but you know he's one of the better players coming out, and possibly you could hybrid him in with Aaron Moy. Um, that would probably be more towards next season. But uh, we'll move on to the in-game stats now. Now moving into Choice's in-game stats now, we're pretty much in a really good position right now. We've got a lot of greens, so. Starting off from the top to the bottom, uh, we've got 72 composure, we've got 84 attacking position, we've got 84 vision, 80 acceleration, 86 agility, 79 balance, 79 jumping, 80 reaction, 71 sprint speed, 79 stamina, and 79 strength. Now, so overall, the mental and physical um, stats are really, really good there. Uh, but moving into the skill ones, are just as good as well. Um, they've got 88 ball control, 79 crossing, 88 curve, 82 dribbling, 75 finishing, 78 free kick. 76 long pass, 90 long shots, so it's good if you guys like top bins, uh, 83 pens, uh, 83 short pass, 90 shot power, and then going down, he's got 84 volleys as well. Now, obviously, if you guys are looking for career mode as well, he's 28, so it's probably no use in buying him. He, he does like to play at the cam, but I like to play him uh, any, any way across the three. And obviously, like their four star, three star comparison with distance shooter, acrobat, and long shot taker in the, under his speciality. So now, just moving into just his just his normal comparison now. Now, I do apologise, guys, that I haven't really gone into too much depth with uh, James Troisi here. So, but now we'll go right into the in game uh, that I feel that uh, James Troisi is good and bad at now. So, like what I did mention, guys, he does play as more of a forward for me. Uh, so, obviously, left wing, right wing, uh, centre forward. I have played him at striker a few times. He's, I don't know, he's okay there, but I feel like playing him more at a cam, if you want to play him in the middle of the park, a cam or a centre forward would be definitely um, the way to go. But um, definitely the right-hand side as well, because he's got a really nice finesse shot. But then, either or, he's got, a, he's got a left foot, and the thing that... You know, FIFA 17 this year has been that the driven shots across goal uh, with the left with the left foot have been absolutely unreal. And as you can see with some of the clips here um, that are playing at the moment, that some are quite a few really good hits um, on the left peg and would actually just curl up. Another good thing about James Truisi is obviously his strength in the midfield. Now, a lot of players that we really like to use this year in FIFA are, you know, not too very strengthy in the midfield, but. With James Troisi, he's actually really, really good. So he can actually have a, you know, with a good um, contest with some of the bigger players. Obviously, some players, as always, you know, stick out like buying and smalling, aren't really the ones that you really want to come up against. But either or, he can definitely play around it. His dribbling is actually really, really good. As you can see on the screen, his dribbling is really, really nice, um, and his finishing is really quite impeccable as well. His driven shot is definitely really good as well. But I feel like the, like what I said before, you know, the. The driven shot, like you know, three and a half, four bars of power to go up into the top top of the net would probably be the preferred. Uh, the bad thing about James Troisi would be probably his hybrid and uh, the way that we want to build him into other teams as well, because obviously he's Australian and that he does play in the A League. So overall, I like, can't really do too much with him other other than you know bring him on as a super sub as what I do. But like what I said before, I did mention Aaron Moy. It'll be good for next season, but really it's really. Um, it doesn't really do much difference for this year because uh, he won't have this man of the match card in next FIFA. But if you guys want to maybe play uh, with a championship side with James 
with James Trevisa, you can have that hybrid between the two there. It may be a little bit difficult, but it is an option, uh, obviously, because Aaron Moy does have that, you know, that uh, team of the season card as well. Like, there really isn't too much that I could really fault against Troisi because he's such a, you know, an all-rounded player where he can play anywhere except defensively around the park. But if I had to really choose something, now there is a difference between dri dribbling and agility, and I feel like his agility does sort of let us down a little bit because he can't swiggle as smooth as you like. But, you know, if you guys like to play around a little bit, you can buy, you know, those dribbling cards if you really need to but you know like I'm using him on a basic card with nothing on him at all and he's doing me this well and like just overall guys just a, just an absolute hidden gem in this game like his free kicks are really good his penalties are really good and everything that, that we can do here is you know not faulted but other than that guys I really hope you have enjoyed uh, this week's episode now I do apologize that I have left it you know a couple of weeks uh, since I have uploaded and I've been quite busy I've tried to try and find a hidden gem in the game and it's taken me quite a while and James Troisi has been the man for this one but if you guys have enjoyed this uh, video today please go ahead and leave a like uh, leave a comment please do subscribe the support does mean a lot um, I really love to um, grow this channel out and hopefully we can uh, have a lot of better things coming but other than that guys I really hope you have a great day have a great night wherever you are in the country or the world and I will see you guys on the next video peace out